Today we're looking at the correct range bar sizing for your charts, depending on the type of market that you're trading and more on the period that you're trading. As range bars aren't related to time, they're related to actual market movement. So since our range bars aren't directly related to time, this isn't a direct translation, but as you can see here, we have a 15 minute chart up on the left here and we have a range bar chart up. Now this is just a random um, 14 range chart. We haven't actually found out exactly what range we're gonna be using for this particular chart. And what we wanna do is we wanna find a number that is somewhat relevant to the 15 minute charts. This is just the way I like to do it. I like to, if I wanna be trading 15 minute charts, I wanna find a relevant range, range chart to that. If I wanna be trading five minute charts, I wanna find a relevant range chart to that level. And this is a trick that helps you dial in it a little bit. And what we actually do is we go and we enable in our indicators panel, something that every platform should have is the ATR. So you can see here we have ATR enabled and we just have a look back period of 10 enabled. And that presents us with this panel here at the bottom. Now keep in mind, this is just a general way to find a value for your range charts that may be correct in matching either the 15 minute or five minute charts or higher, whichever chart you choose. So we look at this and we look for times where there's decently high volume. Our maxes are around 7.5. Our minimums are around four nine. So that means that we want a range roughly in between five and eight. So what we can do is we can put on a six and see what that looks like. So that took us from an area where we didn't have a chart that looked anything like our 15 minute to something that is relatable to our 15 minute chart. We have a decent amount of bars throughout the day, so we can analyze these bars quite well. It's removed a lot of the noise, which is one of the best parts of range bars, but it still has relevancy to us. And from here, we can see that we're getting a little bit of chop right in this area, and we might want to look at possibly increasing the range size of this chart to suit this better and see over time as we're trading this chart, if maybe trading a higher range or a lower range chart would enable us to see a bit less chop in the market. Okay, so now we have a 15 minute crude oil chart enabled. And you can see um, we carried over the six range chart here and it isn't directly relatable to this. We can see there's a lot more um, chop back and forth and we, are, if we're looking at a 15 minute crude chart, we might want something that's a little bit more consolidated. So we'll go down to the ATR here and see we have on this day, um, keep in mind, we're only gonna be looking at areas here with high volume you know, during the trading. We don't want after market hours here. That's just something we don't wanna pay attention to when we're looking at choosing our range chart size. So we look here and in here we have roughly ranging down from six to a peak of a 17. So somewhere in between a six and a 17. So we can try say a 10 range chart. And that gets us a chart that is a lot more relatable to the 15 minute chart. This works the same, like say if we wanna go down to a five minute chart on crude oil, and here we'll see a range between 11 and downwards of three. So in this, we could very well actually bring back that 10 range chart if we wanna be trading those five minutes, if we wanna be trading something more like the five minutes. Uh, we're just looking for a relation between these range charts, which is a bit of a foreign idea because the range charts not at all based on time, and it's only based on actual market activity, you know, price action. How much has the market gone up? How much has the market gone down? If you're looking for a more detailed video on range bars, uh, they'll be in the link in the description. And as we go into this trading series, specifically on range bars, we'll be breaking down all the individual parts and how to have a better understanding of price action through range bars. It gets a little bit more complicated when we move over to the ES, but we'll break it down right now. So you can see when we're on the ES chart here, if we move our cursor over, this is a global cursor, that these 
a 10 range chart does not work at all right here on this ES market with the way we're looking at trading. We want something comparable to a five minute chart. We pick a day and we look at the meat of the trading during a trading day and we look at our range. So we have a range of one to upwards of two. Now with ES, it's a little bit different. With the ES, one point is four ticks. Each tick is 0.25. So when we have a value of one in the ATR, that's one point. So one point would consist of four ticks. So a four range would be four ticks. So a four range would also be equal to a one point move. So if we want something similar to this, we would say, okay, somewhere in between a four range and a eight range chart. So each of these bars on this range chart is going to be equal to a 1.5 move. So it will be six ticks in this market. So one and a half points in the ES market. And this gives us a rough area where we can start to work from when we're trying to find a new value for a range chart that we're looking to trade. Remember with range charts, you're looking for two things. You're looking for one that shows good price action. So it does show the peaks and the valleys. And you're looking for something that removes a little bit of the noise when the market's just stagnating. When it, cond it condenses these areas in the market that, you know, the market is still chunking forward on the five minute or 15 minute chart, but it's not really making any new highs, not making any new lows. And we just want to condense that down to areas where the market is actually moving. Now, keep in mind, Using this method of ADR is a very ham-fisted way of finding a new range chart, but it allows you as a trader to get a general sense between different time periods and the range charts, which kind of correlate to them. We're always looking for these links in trading to ideas that we have a better grasp on. We all have grasps on the five minute charts, the 15 minute charts, the hourly charts, with range charts, we're looking to have that basis in something that we know, which is the time-based charts. So we want charts that have a similar flow to the time-based charts, but give us the added bonus of being able to use range charts that reduce some of the noise when the market isn't moving. Remember, open this up on your charts and take a look and see any correlations between certain time frames and market movements and range bar charts and how those two can be related to give you a better understanding of trading.